Righto guys, back on the car. Today's job will be doing the stone guard underneath the car. Um, it's not really a technical job. I've never used this product before. I have done body deadener, but I've never used stone guard. Um, I'll just turn the camera around. Show you the preparation of the car. I've masked everything off. Because it is a stone guard, I just wanted it to look neat and have nice straight lines. Um, I've covered up all my bolt holes, all the, everything underneath. And I'm only going to spray certain areas. Pretty much anywhere it's going to get a bit of road, grime. Stop it from chipping. Took a bit of time to mask that up. I can't even do wrapping. On presents but this is the product I'm using it's a dominator range apparently it's not too hard to use it comes in a complete kit so you get it in a box this is what the guys use in the back of their utes apparently comes with a spray gun two different nozzles on it um, I guess I'll just uh, Fire up the compressor and start spraying it. See how we go and show you the end result. That's a nice texture. Look at that. Yeah. I thought it'd fill up all the gaps and just make it look like something was wrong under here. So you've just chucked a shitload of deadener in, you know? It looks good and the reason why I'm using this is because it's paintable it won't bleed through like a body dead enough Nails. Even with the mask on, now it stinks.
meant to be as tough as nails, so... Okay guys, I've uh, sprayed the stone guard. I'll just turn the camera around and show you, I must admit, it's come out fantastic. The exact desired result that I was hoping to get, I actually achieved this time, first time. Um, I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys do it in the future. If you do, send it to me, show me. So the desired effect that I wanted, I didn't just want to chuck something on there. I wanted to have straight lines and straight edges so that you knew that it wasn't just thrown on there. And the stone guard looks fantastic all the way down. Um, it's got nice lines where the stone guard is and where the stone guard ends all the way down. You can really see it there along the tunnel. I didn't want to put any up in the tunnel whatsoever. Got some beautiful lines in it. I didn't want to spray everything. I wanted to keep all this metal clean. I just wanted to hit the, the heavy road areas and, and things like that, you know. Things like the chassis. I needed to get the bottom of the chassis, but I didn't want to get that side. So I spent a fair bit of time taping it all off and getting it right to where I wanted it. But at the end of the day, I think the, the results really show. And once I do uh, a coat of paint over the top of it, um, still haven't decided, I have got the paint here, which is an industrial black. Um, I haven't decided, I went with the stone guard because you can actually paint, um, paint over the top of it and, and nothing will bleed through it 
not like a sound deadener. A sound deadener will actually bleed through your paint as you're painting it, so you'll get like a yellowy or brown tinge right through everything. Um, this is what you put in the back of a ute on the tubs. Um, it's hard, you hit it with a hammer. Hopefully it will never come off. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I, I hope I've given you something else to think about.